My name is Lasse Vestergaard and I'm a Lego fan here from Denmark and I have built this mug. Mm -hmm. And it is a, an altar piece uh, with 20 saints from the life of Jesus. And it's starting over here with the angel who is coming to Virgin Mary and tell her that she is going to get a child. Mm -hmm. And then we have the birth of Jesus here with the three wise men. Mm -hmm. And then we have when they are in Egypt, when Jesus was a little child. And the baptism of Jesus here. And then we have the feeding of the 5,000. Uh, I know I, I couldn't put 5,000 <laughs> minifix inside this, this small. I think this will work for now. <laughs> yes. But we have a fish and a bread. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And walking on the water. And, and waking up uh, Lazarus from the death. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then there are, in Danish it's called Zacchaeus, I don't remember how to pronounce Zacchaeus, it. Zacchaeus, yeah. Zacchaeus, yes, in English, yes. Uh, and Palm Sunday, when he's on the donkey inside, uh, right, uh, inside Jerusalem, on the donkey. Mm -hmm. And washing the feet of mm -hmm. the disciples, is that correctly yes, pronounced? Yeah, yeah. Yes. And then the last supper. <laughs> and then the arrest with uh, Judas here and the Roman soldiers and those excellent Roman soldiers from the collectible minifig series. Yes. Those are so, some of my favorite minifigs. Yes, that's also <laughs> one of my favorite minifigs. I think they're very expensive to buy now on the aftermarket. Yes, I brought them when they were new. There you go. That's yeah. sm smart decision. <laughs> yeah. And this is Jesus before Pontius Pilate. Mm -hmm. and, and the next one is, of course, the crucifixion. And then when he, he's dead there, and uh, Joseph of Arimathea, um, and then, of course, the resurrection of Jesus and Mary Magdalene, yeah. And then uh, after he is resurrected from the death, then uh, the disciples see him alive again and they are very shocked and some are happy and some are very shocked to see him again alive. You got a nice variety of the surprise Lego yes. faces there. Yes, it was very funny to build. <laughs> and then when he is going back to heaven. Um, and uh, the trans clear pieces are really great there to yes. create that effect. Yes. Thank you. And then. Uh, uh, Jesus told, go out and make people of all nations to my disciples. Mm -hmm. And that is uh, pa St. Paul and some of the other disciples of Jesus who is uh, telling about Christianity to people of all nations. You can see here uh, one from Egypt and Africa and, uh, and different other places mm -hmm. in the world. This yeah. minifix symbolizes. And in the background, a uh, Greek temple in the background. Yeah. Well, it's very nice kind of forced perspective there yes. with the temples in the background. Yes. And the, and the last one, that's my favorite part of this mark. It was when uh, Jesus returned to earth one day in the future, then uh, all the dead, they wake up from the graves. And uh, I love how you represented that with the, the skeletons yeah, underneath skeletons <laughs> under the ground. Mm -hmm. And then when they are coming up, you can see the skeleton legs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It is probably the most artistic one. Mm -hmm. And this is my favorite part of, uh, of this mark. Yeah. Well, these are excellent scenes. I love how you yeah. told the story of Jesus' yeah. life here. So then 
outside of the, just the scenes themselves, talk about kind of the design of the, the altar piece and, and how that came yeah. together to contain the scenes. Yes. Uh, the around it's it's built uh, the frames are built in uh, gothic styles like an altar piece in a medieval european church okay. was there any particular real life altar piece that inspired this or just kind of the general no, look no no it's okay. just inspired by many different yeah. things yeah well i think it's it's very recognizable and all of the scenes there are excellent yeah. i love how you've used different yeah. small pieces and yeah. details to capture that i also had to do a lot of research about making all the scenes correct mm -hmm. that uh, and uh, and how they are placed uh, to each other uh, jesus is walking on the water right after the feeding of the five thousands and then I had to go it in the right order, all the different stories. Mm -hmm. On the back side yeah. of the altar piece, I didn't want to make it just grey without anything. So then I built a mosaic of the yelling stone, which is a famous Rhone stone here in Denmark. Yeah. It was made in uh, yeah, 965, I think, by the Danish king Harald Bluetooth, who was the first Christian king in Denmark. Okay. Yeah, and I an always, always wanted to build that as a mosaic, and now I had the chance to put it <laughs> on. And it was uh, one of the first pictures of Jesus made in Denmark. And this I have built on the back side. But it's a little difficult to see here in Skærbæk because uh, there's a lot of skyscrapers in the front of because one of the other marks here in Skærbæk. Oh, okay. There's some skyscrapers, so you can't... Uh, you can see some of it, but not at all. But, uh, but that is an excellent tie-in. Last year before Skærbæk, I, I visited the, the Yelling Stone, and yes. yeah, it was, it's ah, really amazing. Did? Yeah, do you know it? Yes, yes. I do. I, I love that. It's, it's a fascinating history with the conversion of Denmark to Christianity. So yes. I, I think that's a great tie-in then with the altarpiece.